Welcome to Servant of the Fates. Today's quick pick a card is about your life at its very best. Pick the card that sparks a memory in you. It has your message. Guidelines below on how to do just that. Feel free to pause this video as you take your pick. As always, timestamps down below. And let's begin. If you chose the first card, welcome to your reading. It's timeless. You're meant to see it right now. Here's your message. You're always looking over your shoulder, worried that whatever you have accomplished so far is not safe. But it won't always be like this. Your life at its best will be the embodiment of stability. No more living from paycheck to paycheck. No more wondering if your contract will be renewed or if you'll get enough clients. You will have everything you need to ensure your health and safety and live very comfortably. How, you wonder? Through fame. You will be renowned for something. It has to do with your mind. Could be creative like writing or practical like accounting. Whatever it is, your society will recognize you for it and it will be the source of your wealth. People will appreciate you and beg for your help or advice. And no longer a slave to a life of 9 to 5, you will have the time and energy to entertain your petitioners. Whatever you are going through right now, it will get better. Better than better. Your life will be an endless summer. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Thank you for joining me today and I hope to see you again soon. Take care. If you chose the second card, welcome to your reading. It's timeless. You're meant to see it right now. Here's your message. You laugh and you smile, but deep inside you're consumed by sadness. The loss of someone or something has left your heart a mess, but you are mentally strong. That's why no one even knows how much you're hurting. You're great at pretending. And one day, you won't even remember the pain you're now feeling. Your life at its best will consist of true, lasting happiness. You will unite with your soulmate and create a beautiful family together. One that is loving, happy, and loyal to each other. There will be challenges for sure. But none so great as to stop your celebration. For that is what your life will be. An endless party. Not with fair weather friends, rather with ones who are trustworthy. Near the end of your life, you will know that you had the privilege of having your deepest dreams realized. The absence of sadness, the lack of loneliness, and the presence of overflowing, infectious happiness. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Thank you for joining me today and I hope to see you again soon. Take care. If you chose the third card, welcome to your reading. It's timeless. You're meant to see it right now. Here's your message tired, aren't you, of half-hearted offers from cold, cruel suitors. Sometimes you don't even know if love is real. You think that maybe a happy ending is just some Disney advertising. But the night is darkest before dawn, as this saying goes. Your life at its best will overflow with romantic love. You will meet your knight in shining armor, your prince or princess charming, and you will spend a lifetime with your one true love, your forever. No romance novel or love song could have prepared you for it. The passion will consume you, and you'll realize that all these years you were never truly alive. The kind of love that poets write about, the kind that gets made into songs and movies, that is the love that awaits you. A love that stays forever true. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Thank you for joining me today and I hope to see you again soon. Take care. If you chose the fourth card, welcome to your reading. It's timeless. You're meant to see it right now. Here's your message. Life is a war, isn't it? You're told of tomorrow's battle before you're even done with today's. And you're brave, so you keep fighting. But my God, isn't it tiring? Thankfully, your life at its best will be the epitome of victory. No more endless struggles and infinite battles. The war will at last be over. The love, comfort, and safety you once had but lost and have since been yearning for will come back. 
and put an end to all the suffering you're now enduring. For now, keep protecting yourself from your enemies. Keep facing your fears. They will not stay with you forever. They're leaving sooner or later. You will have your own dream fairy tale ending. So for now, just hold on, darling. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Thank you for joining me today and I hope to see you again soon. Take care. If you chose the fifth card, welcome to your reading. It's timeless. You're meant to see it right now. Here's your message. You are plagued by your demons. They wake you up in the middle of the night. They keep you awake with fright. Someday, they won't be able to anymore. Your life at its best will have you conquering your demons. They will never bother you anymore for you will turn these monsters into flowers. What once cost you pain will be the source of your flame. It will make your heart unbreakable, your mind impenetrable, and your soul incorruptible. And this wealth you will gain from your tribulations will not only be spiritual, it will cross into the material. Financial worries will no longer be in your vocabulary. You will be abundant in spirit and in money. So let your demons rage on. Let them have their day. Soon enough, from their grip, you will be able to break away. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Thank you for joining me today and I hope to see you again soon. Take care.